Back in the studio. Got a sweet project that I'm planning on doing and I can't not film it, you know? We're in the studio, I'm by myself, JT's at work. Working hard or hardly working, who knows? I've been doodling the past couple days <clears throat> some cool faces from this artist that I'm really influenced by, Nash. Probably has some of the best like graffiti styled characters um, in the game. And I got this huge, JT's and I studio has this huge metal sliding door that separates another room. And it's just like a huge, perfect little enclave of a canvas almost. So I thought I'd kind of practice and do a little experimentation with like a full mimic, like mimicking one of Nash's characters or like his style. So I already did the slew brain and Sam brain. Um, so I'm getting a little more technical with spray paint. This I think will be the most technical piece to this date if I can pull it off, but I'm really excited. I'm gonna take you through the whole process and uh, that's pretty much it. All right, so this is the big door I was talking about, huge metal, I think it's like almost 10 feet high, six feet wide, so I'll be able to do a pretty substantial size character. This is the Sam brain I was talking about. Let's see if I can focus it on. Oh, boom. Sweet character, kind of my like styled character, I have it tattooed on my bod. That's a whole separate video you can watch, should be out already. But this guy, I'm gonna sketch it out in pencil first because I don't wanna make a bunch of marks with spray paint and then keep going over it. So I'm gonna sketch it out so it's a little more generically um, outlined and then just start with spray paint. We're gonna do our best to nail it, booyah. Hopefully you can see what I drew just in like a ebony Prismacolor pencil on this wall. Um, it's kind of hard to see. It's pretty similar to all of Nash's characters. They usually have like this long chin coming out with these lips and I tried to copy the eyes. Copy, yes I used the word copy. All the haters out there. It's clearly an exercise to mimic an artist. Um, so I'm not claiming this as my original work. It's just fun to practice and actually you learn a lot from mimicking other artists old grandmasters and more traditional fine arts. People do it all the time. So eyes are similar. The only thing that's really different is Nash usually has like hats on his character or something. I just kind of made like a weird forehead um, that will hopefully work out. light here. Darker brown to a lighter skin tone. You can almost see every feature perfectly with two colors um, and it almost looks detailed, not really. Even though it's a Nash styled face, it's like pretty much his character, the, the, the mental layout and process step by step. Oh, look at JT's FaceTiming me. What's up, bro? I'm filming a video. What's up, world? I'm in the bathroom. Yeah, you what I was saying was that even though it's Nash's character, the steps are still the same for me if I was doing any other character. You know, you kind of put a couple mid-tones down, the light and dark portions, and then you really go into highlights and, and the shadows. And it's the same process, even though it's not my character. Um, and I just thought I'd let you know that. And it's coming along quite nicely. I'm really excited. Woohoo! come this far looking pretty good. I'm really happy with myself. I mean, the highlights and shadows are there. You can tell which way the light's coming from, but one of the most unique aspects and really telling kind of techniques that makes it a Nash piece, you know, that it's very, his style is all the reflected light. Sometimes he has red and blue, two different sides. I'm gonna do some blue reflected light on the shadow side. So the light sources from over here sort of kind of it like that. This other light source will be coming from kind of down here, 
hitting up on the shadow side, if you get what I mean. But I don't really do it that much. I'm kind of nervous that I'm gonna screw it all up. But uh, you got you gotta at least try, you know. It's just oh so standard that my battery would run out of juice when I'm doing the most awesome part of the entire piece. But you know, you win some and you most definitely lose some. I finished the uh, reflected light. Let me focus. Zerp. Oh sweet. I'm super duper pumped about that. You have no idea. That's my ode to Nash. I learned so much within these past like four hours. You have no idea. I'm probably just gonna touch it up, clean it up, and that will probably be it for this video. Please subscribe to this channel that JT and I are just, you know, completely penetrating the internet with. We built this awesome studio. His music station, my painting area. And we make a bunch of videos. We're two artists having a blast documenting our our artistic endeavor so hit us hit us a like hit us a subscribe if you're feeling crazy and uh yeah we'll see you in the next video Zip.